Hey guys, really excited to do this video where I'm gonna be sharing with you the five reasons why I do about 70% of my rides on the gravel bike. I'm gonna quickly walk you through how I've set up this gravel bike to be used as a training bike on the road and then explain the reasons why I use it for that purpose. So a quick look at the build overall. Let's start at the top. So we've got my Celitalia Novus Boost saddle, which is the exact same saddle I run on my road bike. We've also got the Fivera Asioma Road Pedals. These are the duos. So exact same pedals on the road bike and the gravel bike. I don't swap those over. I've got a separate pair on each bike. I have changed the chain ring that came on it. Actually, sorry, this thing is absolutely filthy and I'll explain why later on. So please excuse the absolutely disgusting bike. But this is a 46 tooth chain ring, which is... You know, even that's, I could probably go a little bit bigger, um, but that means I can train on the flat around something like Centennial Park and not um, not spin out. I've got a standard road cassette on here. This is an 1132 Shimano cassette. It came with a massive like 44 tooth or something. So I swapped that out to a regular road cassette. Um, the rest is pretty standard. Um, got a bell. This is a, it's actually an eBay bell. I think it's a fakey, I think it's a Rock Bros. You know that brand they sell on eBay? It's got a really nice sound to it. The attachment's horrible. It just, you can't really get it to lock in. Anyway, um, what have I got? Tires. I've got a 42 mil Specialized Pathfinder Pro on the front. And on the rear, I've got a Maxxis Rambler in a 40 mil width. Um, so I pretty much put on the widest tires that I could get just to slow me down as much as possible. Oh, the actual frame. This is an S-Works Diverge from, I think it's like a 2019 model. Um, like this thing, it's got totally unnecessary stuff for the stuff I'm doing. It's got, this is a dropper post and there's a little lever here. That's the lever for the dropper, which I've never, never used obviously because I'm training on the road. And um, there's like this storage box thing. Oh, the other thing it's got, which I don't, also don't really need. It's got this, it's got this future shock thing, which is like a suspension. Can we see that moving, which, it's kind of cool. So that's the bike. As you can tell, it's not really set up for riding gravel at all. The gearing's way too big. It's got road pedals. I don't really take it off-road much. So the five reasons why I choose to train on the gravel bike so much. First reason is it just keeps my road bike in good condition. It's just less wear and tear on all the parts on my road bike. So road bike, I only use when I'm racing or when I'm doing a specific training session on the road or a long ride where I want to be on the road bike. Uh, in good condition. So it keeps the road bike nice and fresh. Second reason is that the gravel bike slows me down. It's similar to an air hub. Those really wide tires, 42 mil on the front, takes a lot of speed off. And it means for rides I'm doing, especially on bike path routes or through quiet streets, I do a lot of my rides. I go sort of adventuring, I'll, I'll create new routes and try and ride different places. And I find the slower speed helps in terms of keeping power on the pedals throughout the ride when I'm turning corners or going down suburban streets where I don't want to be flying along at 40k an hour on the road bike, the gravel bike helps keep the speed down. Similar thing in Centennial Park, it's just easier to do training efforts when you're not going as fast. Other thing there as well, if I go over to something like Taronga Zoo in Sydney, which is about a four and a half, four to four and a half minute climb, if I do that on the road bike, I might be doing it, in, there might be four minute repeats. Gravel bike, it extends that out. It's more like four and a half minutes. So in terms of training efforts as well, it makes any short climb you've got close to home more of a longer climb. Third reason is it's a great option to have in wet weather. I have pretty much packed up my trainer. I don't use it anymore. For me, the trainer used to be a tool where it was wet weather. I'd get on it. I wouldn't really enjoy it. I find it really boring. But now I just hop on the gravel bike and actually look forward to the wet days. The wettest, the absolute downpour, wettest, shittest days, I kind of look forward to because I'm like, cool, I'm going to get all my good wet weather gear, warm gear. I'm quite lucky with Rafa. I've got full, full wet weather, uh, cold weather gear. And I go out on the gravel bike in the absolute pouring rain when no one else is riding. And I just find it a really enjoyable thing now. So it's really good in wet or damp conditions. Not only just to keep the road bike clean, but it's also safer as well. A lot of people crash in wet weather. Wet roads, damp roads, you slide out. Having those wider tyres also just makes it a lot safer when you're riding in wet conditions. Fourth reason is that I just find it's more fun to ride. Let's say I'm going out for a two hour endurance ride. I've got the road bike and the gravel bike. I'll always gravel take towards the gravel bike because if I'm doing things like cutting through back streets, jumping down curbs, jumping up curbs, even things like cutting across a park on the grass for a little bit. That's all stuff that I like to incorporate into my rides and it's much easier to do on the gravel bike. It's just a more fun riding experience. 
Fifth and final reason I like it, and I almost forgot to include it, but it's really important, is that for me now, flat tires are very rare. It's not really a thing I think about. I remember back a couple of years ago, maybe three or four years ago, flat tires would be like a stressful part of my riding experience. I'd be out and think, oh, what if I get a flat now? And then you'd get a flat and you change it. Maybe there's something stuck in the tire and you've got to change it again. For The gravel bike essentially gets rid of that. If I'm doing a road ride, I pretty much do not get flats on the gravel bike. Those are the five reasons. Honestly, getting a gravel bike has changed my riding experience. If this bike got stolen and disappeared, I would go out next day and I'd go and buy another one. It's such a valuable training tool for me and I really like it. So I hope you found something interesting in this video and enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one.